In this video we're going to look at how the three separate audio regions in Logic travel through the mixing desk and then on their way to the stereo out. So we're going to learn how the mixing desk works. In front of me I've got three different audio regions, one for the kick, one for the hi-hat and one for the snare. Have a listen to the hi-hat. To bring up the mixing desk you just hit X and there we go there's the mixing desk and it looks a bit complicated at first but it's not really that complicated on the left hand side um, we have the kick drums channel strip so channel strip is just a vertical line and it handles only that audio region and that signal um, so we've got one here for the kick another one for the hi-hat and then another one for the snare uh, we can see the input section, that's where we recorded the sounds from. So on this one we recorded from input 1 and 2 on my Scarlet. This one here was recorded on the first input and this one here on the first input as well. And then if we follow these channel strips down we can see that these, this one here outputs to stereo out. What that means is this signal will travel down this channel strip and then once it gets to the final fader it will then co go towards the stereo out channel strip which is this one here and once it's gone there that's it that's the point that we hear it so let me solo it and we'll see the signal so we can see the signal here and we can see it's also on stereo out let's have a look at the hi-hat see that one's also coming out of stereo out and let's have a look at the snare one also coming out of stereo out. So the only thing that's different here is in the section called sends I've activated a send called bus 1 on the snare track and bus 1 sends a copy of the signal so it's not just going to stereo out anymore it's going to stereo out and it's going to bus 1 and this yellow track here is called an auxiliary track and that is used for effects so there's no audio signal there, there's no audio file there, it's just something that I can use to add effects to. So that one there is going to bus 1, and on bus 1, this channel strip here, which is yellow, has um, input 1 as bus 1. On that one we've put a space designer and a gate. And then this one here is also outputting to stereo out. So all of the channel strips are going go down and then go to stereo out. And this one here splits it off, it goes to stereo out and to bus 1, which then goes to stereo out. So if we have a listen, and that's how mixing desk works in really basic terms.